So here's the video for 3A, numbers 9 and 10 in your progress check review. So for A, first I'm going to factor this denominator so I can figure out what my common denominator is going to be. And nicely, these factors are the individual denominators here. So this first fraction is missing the x minus 1, and this fraction is missing the x minus 3. So now that I have common denominators, I can just equate my numerators and solve for x. So I'm going to distribute the x. Because it's quadratic, I'm going to subtract the 6 to the left. So I have x squared minus 9 equals 0. I'm going to factor to solve. It's a difference of two squares, so I can factor to conjugate. and get x is 3 and negative 3, except I have to look for extraneous. So back in my denominator, x cannot be 1. That's not a solution. And from here, x cannot be 3. So my only answer is negative 3. Okay, number 9 says, identify all of the discontinuities. So again, I'm going to factor. And then I see that this factor eliminates, so we're left with x 1 over x minus 5. So we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 5 because of the denominator, and there's a hole. The factor that eliminated, that equals 0 at negative 5, but then I need to figure out the y value of the hole. So I'm going to substitute that in to here, and we get negative 1 tenth for that y value. That's negative 1 tenth. Okay, for 10, explain the similarities and differences. So again, let's factor this. And then for f of x, we're left with 1 over x plus 6. They look like they're the same. There are differences. Do not say there are no differences. That is silly. I'm asking you for them. So the similarities, both f and g, have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 6 and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. The difference is f has a hole at 3 because that is the factor that divided and then substituting that in 1 9th where g has no hole. The reason that f has a hole is this factor that divides to 1 creates this discontinuity at 3. So then you also have to find the y value.